today. We had a real fresh snow, so I just went for a drive to see if I cut any wolf tracks or see if the lynx been out. And I was uh, coming down the trail. I just happened to look in the bush and there was a cat sitting, a lynx. So, look what I got here, guys. I shot him. Nice kitty. But they've been all over in here. There's more. Well, according to the tracks, there's tracks and beds everywhere in here. That's good. One link down. Well, I never got on camera, but uh, just as I went to pick up that cat, I uh, looked over and uh, I put the phone down. I just started putting it in my pocket and I looked over and there's another cat. But I got the gun with me, so yeah, that was all good good going wasn't it so uh that's two for today and uh, you know what i better get my snares checked because they're on the move well that's good we'll uh get her back to the quad we'll see what happens look at i see one sitting right there you guys i see one sitting i can't hold the camera at the same time so what is the chance of that guys come in to pick up one and uh then i got two and then now a three so right on i'm just going to stand in the bush here you never know what happens wow i gotta get my link sets checked they're on the move big time lots of links this year well there not a bad day guys and uh i just as i was carrying these out i thought i'd just sit here so i rolled a cigarette and i was sitting in the quad and I seen another one, but I couldn't get a shot at him. So that's all right. Uh, you know, I got three. I only need one more and I'm quoted out. So right now I'm going to pin her. I've got much, uh, maybe three hours left in a day here. I got to get around and, and get them traps or my snares tripped here because I don't want to overcatch. I just have to turn them in. So no use of wasting them. Let's uh, get her done. Well, one guy was asking why I don't show any snares. I, uh, I'd like to, but you know what? Look at, I, I go, don't want to be making too many tracks in here. I look at, I just come in and I'll go back on my own, right in my own tracks. It's just that if they happen to come through, we don't need a whole bunch of uh, tracks around, but there's my little wire and I can adjust my snare any which way I want. 18 inches off the ground, make her big. Because if they touch it with their ears, they're backing out. Uh, this location right here, I've caught wolves just about every year on this these trees. Well, you can just see there's nothing left here. And one guy had asked me also, how many snares do I hang? Well, I don't put them right close to the bait station. I'll put a few for the pups. But uh, these this set's a quarter mile plus away. And how many snares? Just hang all you want. I mean, the more snares, the merrier. You want to wipe that pack out. Uh, don't be like me, taking one at a time. I'm just educating them here, which is no good. So hopefully we get the next batch coming in. I'm setting more snares here today, so. Well, guys, a while back there was, uh, I had uh, seen wolf tracks on the trail. I'm uh, a little bit uh, southeast of my shack, and yes, I found it. It's right in these big meadows here. They drug it down. But uh, it was a while back. But look at here. They've been back in here to visit this. And look at in there. I'm going to get some snares in there right now. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to load this bush up because they're going to be back here. They're, and now I got something set on because these are the wolf trails. And all I need to do is maybe... I got some gut piles yet, and I might just bring and throw, refresh in this maybe a couple, three days from now, and hopefully they come back through here, and we should be able to get them out. Uh, I built 23 snares the other day. I've only got another maybe eight to get rid of, and I'm done, so we'll get them out here. Biggest thing, guys, is these cats are 
they're easy to do, but the biggest thing always is like any fur is, uh, the biggest job is thinking about it. Just get at it and do it. It, uh, these cats, they, they're nice to do compared to wolves. They're easy to get going. Just gotta have patience, that's all. Let's give you shots here and there. And we don't keep the claws on these. There, one side's done. I'll switch it over and oh, you get up there and leg there instead of having it on camera. We'll uh, just get this tail done out. You gotta pull the bone out, which is very easy to do. There, just like that. And then I'll just pick them up some here. What I do with the front legs, guys, I just make a little slit right here. Because when you get down, it's easier to get them out, eh? I'm no professional, but you know what? Uh, when you find something works for you, don't change it. Catcher's ice compared to coyotes and wolves. Uh, so you know, this is where, like I was saying, guys, uh, I need a bullet hole. Yeah, see, there's the lake. Okay. Anyway, I'll keep fighting with this and then I'll, I'll catch up here. There, we pulled the front legs through. So it just, like that little slit I was telling you about, and then you just go right here. And what I do now, I got a, another rope here. I'll swap ends here. Oh, I let it down a little bit. I do this with the coyote, uh, wool, just all the fur I do. Got heavy stuff. But, uh, See, and this way you got the weight of the carcass pulling down on you.
I take lots of yours because uh, just get rid of that cartilage out of them. Uh, these here ain't so much. We'll be using them for hats and stuff. I, they won't be going to the market, these ones. They'll, I'll just take them in and get them tagged up, register them, fish and wildlife, and then, uh, then we'll hit the, the tannery and they'll be, by spring, turned into a hat and mitts and stuff. It's a shame, you know, there's just no market on these, any fur anymore, you know, it's, uh, like I said, it's just a waste of uh, good pelts, you know. I mean, if I was to ship this in the market, what, maybe 30 bucks? And we make it for ourselves and do what we want. There's one down. I'm not even flashing it because uh, with a tan reel, we'll do that. And also, uh, guys, I don't know if you can see it from there, but every cat has got a little piece of ivory here. It's just, uh, it's a bone. No, I don't know the reason for it. It's don't do nothing, it just floats there. It's under the, under the skin, but you just dry that up and clean it, that's a chunk of ivory. Both shoulders got it, any cat family has got it, you'll find it right here. If you feel on a cat, you can feel it right in there. So just, just take a lancet. There it is right there, see, I hit it right on. There it is. I'll get my fingers underneath it. I mean, some people save them, some don't, eh? Uh, I guess you'd have to get lots of cats in order to, uh, you know, get a pound of her, that's for sure, or however you want to. Yeah, it's just floating in there. So it's, uh, I don't know the purpose of it, it don't do nothing, it's not hooked to nothing, but uh, it's there. Cougar's got it. There, I got two chunks of, little chunks of ivory.